Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Adventure is the agenda today. It's going high. I'm looking for a high alpine cave and that's really difficult to climb. I'm afraid of heights and I've been sweating blood and water because of it. A real challenge for me, but definitely entertaining for you. I faced my fear and went through with it despite everything. But come along and see for yourself. Remember the video where I found a secret cave on the Untersberg mountain? So I was searching this cave for such a long time. I never found it. And finally I find it and it was a great feeling. And it is the same here in this cave. Because I was trying two times in the past. Once I came up and I was pretty close to the cave. But then the weather changed. It can happen here high the mountains very very um, in, in very very short time and I had to go down because you can see not really wide and the air was really wet and this is dangerous and the second time I climb up from up uh, from down from the feet of the mountain and then I see that this path is closed because they had to renovate the path. So this was very... Uh, uh, I was not angry but I was sad that it will not happen again but of course they had to repair it and this is for the security of all of us so um, today is the third time and I hope I made it today. So please, thumbs crossed. So here you can see a beautiful view and you can see from there the path where we had to walk on. Look at this. A little break, drink something, have some sugar because now the rough part is coming. It is going straight downstairs. So you know, I'm afraid of hay, but I had to focus on the way and don't look down, then it is possible. Maybe you'll laugh about me because I have the climbing 
cage here, but I feel safer so, so this way. Um, after my children are born, I was afraid of hay. Before, in my childhood and youth, never, never. But now I'm really afraid of hay, but it is not good to, st to just let the fear there. You had to fight against it, you had to do something against it. And this here is the best way and like this it is unsafe way. Small cave, but not our cave. Behind me is a rock formation and there are five uh, memory walls from dead people. So there must be terrible scenes in the past. And there is a uh, cave up there with fire um, signs. So maybe all those people died when they want to arrive the cave. I don't know. So, there are different ways here. And I'm not sure which way is the right one. So, there is one which is going in the wrong direction. I think this here is the regular way because this is the you can see that there are most people walk and then uh, this one here is going higher. Maybe this here is the right way, but I had to find it out at my own.
langsamer. The cave is awesome, fantastic. So the way before my heart rate was really, really high because I was really afraid. The way was not for beginners and now I'm happy to have no downhill around me, no fast downhill because I feel safe now. I'm not sure if I can show you at the camera how fantastic this cave is and how big, but see it yourself.
there was a really cold blowing air at the entrance of the cave. But here it is not so cold. But here is snow because there is never sun. And um, there is everywhere this red malty earth. And I had gloves for later because now my hands are really slimy and I need a uh, strong and dry handle later outside again. So I use my gloves for outside. There are really stairs in the ground here. Ooh. But they are also slimy, so I had to walk careful uh, on my ass, like before, the safest way. Uh, really impressive how some people make massive work in the mountains. Spalt dazwischen. Aha. Darum geht der Weg also in die andere Richtung, weil hier wird es nass. Because of this, the way is in the other direction, because there it is wet. There is water. I'm pretty sure it is the clearest water you find here in the mountain. But I'm sure it is also pretty cold. At this point where the light is, is um, another entrance to a second massive cave, bigger than this one, but this year is only for uh, people who are often in caves and in really dangerous caves and this is not the right thing for us. So we enjoy the view from, from here and don't go upstairs because you can see the color from the rocks, how fresh they are. When they are red, they are laying all, um, for a long time here, and when they are um, white, they are fresh. So, and you can see many fresh stones here inside, and this is a little bit too dangerous for us. Look at this 
There are ice sculptures. So beautiful. I don't want to walk down. I'm a little bit afraid of it because you never know if there is an open hole where all the stones rolling inside. It could happen here inside. I came inside this cave and thought, wow, this is amazing. Uh, right now when I'm longer in and see all these different beautiful parts of the caves, um, just out of words, the frozen lake, the frozen waterfall, the ice sculptures everywhere, the, the highness of this cave, the massive rocks, so I'm speechless. Of course I will not walk on this frozen ice once I don't want to destroy anything of this beautiful area and second I don't know how dangerous it is. So you cannot really see how big the sea is because it is covered with this red brown uh, mud but you can think that it calmed down from the frozen waterfall behind there are two of them and then when it is not frozen it runs down there because this is the deepest part and then it is frozen. This is what I talked about. There are those entrances and caves in the cave and you had to take care that it doesn't fall in. Can you see this area here? It looks like there is the cave going deeper. So I know it because so you can see that there is the water also running down, frozen, and there must be an entrance because the water is not like high at this place. So it had to run through, otherwise it had to be at the same level like this lake here. So there must be another entrance. So that you can see how big the cave is. Do you see the small light there? This is a flashlight with a human and now see how small the human is and how massive the cave. My clock says I walked 10 stairs and this is my day challenge. So where is the stair here? <laughs> I'm stunning. It is so amazing here inside. I really have no words for it. And my heart rate is going down again and I can collect a little bit energy again for the way back because I'm a little bit afraid of this path back. Um, I had to walk very careful, it is dangerous and I'm happy when we are down again. The adventure isn't over yet because I don't go up the mountain again, I go down from here and this way is also an adventure. Aha, okay. 
Schritt zurück wird es anspruchsvoller. So I just clean my hands that I have a good grip now and when I'm over this dangerous part I really pray that everything works and I'm so glad when I'm on the other side, really. Langsam, langsam. Langsam, bitte. Langsam. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I would never do this alone. I was so scared really Alone the way Only the way to the to the cave It's so It looked so terrible for me so dangerous because there is only this 50 50 centimeters path and then it goes straight down only rocks and my knees are so shaking so if I had to do this alone, I would die, really. I don't, I am so afraid or I was so afraid. So I'm very happy I had today a mountain guide with me who shows me this cave and uh, push me at once. The, he said, no, you had to go now. You cannot just stay there, you cannot go upstairs, you cannot go downstairs, you had to move now. And at the other point he told me, yeah, you're doing this great, you're brave, 
uh, you made it, so it was the right balance between those two, um, two parts. And now I'm sitting here on the grass, relaxing. The way down is also long, but I'm sure there is nothing like this before. I hope so. I also show you the way down, maybe there is something to see for you and it is of course an adventure. So my guy don't my guy. My guide doesn't want to tell me if the way is heavy or not. So it is a big surprise for me. Let's see what it is. And you can come with us. Hi guys, there are two second caves, one hole and one portal. Should we check it out too? Write it in the comments. So I know how to move in the mountains, also in the high mountains area. Maybe you know I lived a part of my childhood in the mountains of North Italy and I was there so often in the mountains, also like this really high alpine and I know how to move and how to react and how to be in the mountains. But today there was just this fear of the highness which I had to handle but I know or I feel the more I go the better it is so it is now much better than at the beginning so I'm really happy and glad about myself. By the way, till the end of the video, I've walked over 4,000 steps. Cheers.
so it looks like the way is going straight now. No stairs anymore. I hope so, because my knees won't make it much longer. So dears, in this video you can follow me from beautiful out of the car, fresh, and now silly hairs and sweating everywhere. How I change into one video. Every bushcraft video is easier than this today. Every bushcraft video. So this is the naked truth. You can see it. But I'm still happy. And that's what is necessary. Did you know that you can smell the sweating of fear? I think they can smell me 300 meters away. Not only dogs can smell it, humans too. It smells different. But it is completely clear that I am sweating of fear today because I was going so often over my limit today. I want to stop so often, but what doesn't matter if you are on the half of the way, you cannot just return because the way is not easier. And of course there is the mountain rescue, but if you just cannot go longer, it is no emergency and you had to pay when they come and took you. Because in the past, many people go on the mountains without the right gear, without the right shoes, just with flip-flops or chucks. And then they see, oh, I can't go anymore. My equipment is not the best. And then they call the mountain rescue. And when you do this today, you had to pay it complete. You only had not to pay it if it is emergency, if you broke your leg or something else. And I think this is right. I can hear sounds of civilization, motorcycles, cars, and there is a bridge with a metal handle. So maybe the street is near. I am complete powerless and I had to lay up my feet now but I am at the parking spot again and I am happy that I can drive home now taking a shower, laying the feet down and move not one step more today. So also a big thank you to my guide and cameraman in one. Without you, I can't handle it, I can't make it, so thank you for kicking me in the ass. It was a great adventure. I hope you liked this video too, and if you want to see more cave videos, or if you just like this video, write it in the comments if you want. So I hope we see us again in the next video. Have a great time! Bye bye!